Hi folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. So the last video, I showed you getting this uh, this nose cone mold done. So this video, we're gonna start working on, uh, actually we're not gonna work on it, we're gonna do the layup. So after I got everything waxed, the next step was to spray it with this part all cover all film. Uh, they've got this in two different styles. They have the purple one here, which is water based. And then they have a green one, which is alcohol based. They're both PVAs. Uh, like I said, the difference is purple is water based and the green is alcohol based. I use a purple one specifically because it doesn't have a hazmat fee for shipping, so it makes it a little bit cheaper. So I got the mold sprayed with the part all. Um, typically, from what I have found, that these PLA printed molds, once you put a couple of coats of primer on them, you let them sit for a day or so the primer kind of it, it shrinks a little bit into the mold so you end up with more of the layer lines still visible um, and then once you spray the PVA the the porosity of the primer and the mold soaks up the PVA so it takes a good number of coats um, I think I used about half a pint of PVA for all of this and I probably put a good six or eight coats on the thing so and that left a, a good, a nice film to where we shouldn't have to worry too much about the, uh, uh, worry about the epoxy and the, and the fiberglass layup sticking to the mold surface. So first step I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first layer of glass in here that is laser cut. I'm going to kind of just put it in here to see how well it, it does or does not fit or I should say how well it does or does not lay down into the mold surface. Unexpectedly, it's gonna need a good bit of uh, slots cut in it. So, before we start mixing up any, see one, two, three, four, five of them. So I'm just gonna make a wild guess on where those five are gonna be and I'm gonna cut a couple of slots. Not all the way to the middle, just about four or five inches longer or so. And we'll see how it fits that way. Drop it back down in here gonna try and set it up to where the overlapped areas are where the uh, oh, where the the clear glass will get cut out that way we can try and keep a fairly consistent thickness of the layup
outside, but we got this thing all situated. Um, like I said, there are uh, two layers of one and a half ounce on the very front up there. There's then two layers of six ounce. On the sides, there are two layers of six ounce as well as one layer of one and a half, except for the bottom half, which has a third layer of six ounce. And that's just to put a little bit more uh, rigidity and stiffness and strength into there in case for whatever reason the nose gear were to never come down that'll give us a little bit extra strength uh, to prevent that area from from getting damaged if we ever have to to belly land it or like i said the nose gear doesn't come down and it lands on its nose so uh i'm gonna leave this to cure for probably three to four hours and then what i'll do is the peel ply here i will peel back and i will trim the fiberglass edge around the mold and then i'll leave this to cure overnight um, a good 12 to 16 hours and then I will pop it out of the mold tomorrow so until I get that video going y'all have a great day